common in project management and any kind of task management as well. We have a series of rows that have information in them, maybe a little bit of information or a lot of information, and we find ourselves, based on some status or something happening, we want to copy it to another tab. We want to just copy it. We don't want to get rid of it. We don't want to move it. We don't want to do anything. Now, one common thing you might think of doing is, let's say we're going to duplicate this and we're going to create a list of all the on hold projects. We'll create a tab called on hold. We will delete all of everything here. And instead of these stages, we will just have a list of projects and we'll use filter. Now, filter seems like it's going to work because we can use filter and we can say, hey, this condition, this E, is equal to true. Now we have no nothing here, no projects. But if we put a couple on hold, come back and we now see we have the information we want. We can actually just get the product name, project name if we want, and that means we can add some more data here. But the thing is, if I have this data and I'm seeing it, I can't edit it. Watch, if I try to delete Facebook, I'm literally hitting delete or if I say Facebook project, I rename it here for some reason. I get a reference error. This filter is only going to pull data into this tab. And it's not allowing me to edit it. It's not allowing me to do anything to it. I could perhaps copy paste the values. That's what I just did there, getting rid of the formula. But now if something else goes on hold, like this Bucky's project, it's not going to work. There's no filter function anymore. So how do we copy when we click on hold how do we copy to the on hold tab and based on what we want we maybe just want a little bit of data we're just going to get the project name for now we're going to need app script for this and it's actually much simpler than you think app script wise coding wise i'm going to code the whole thing right here for you basically we're looking at projects tab and we're saying anytime there's an edit if it's in this column four and we're changing a checkbox from false to true then we want to copy that data so Let's look at our app script and see what we need to do. We're gonna call it move on hold. And we're gonna write a function here. This is what's called a simple trigger on edit. And that's all we need to write for the function to work is on edit with the capital E. We need some event object, something that's going to hold all the data of what is actually being edited, what values are being edited. We can call this event. Sometimes we call this E just to make it five times, 80% faster to type. E. We can call it event right now. And what we want to do from this event is gather the information. We want a variable of what is the value, like checkbox value, box, we'll call it box value equals event dot value. So that's just saying, what is the new value that's being edited? We're going to log that right now. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Logger checkbox value. We're going to log this checkbox value. I'm going to save and I'm going to go back and I'm going to just delete Nike and then I'm going to click go here and let's click on hold. And I'm going to then look at our executions and see what was actually logged here. It will refresh. It takes a little bit of time to refresh sometimes. So I just did it again. Here I'll type in instead of I'll type in Nike's project. We'll go back here and we'll see is this the one now they're coming in fast and furious. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Google servers have to go get it, save it, get it, and then bring it back and log it. So we'll refresh a few times. And again, this may take a little bit of time. Oh, I see what I did. I, this is checkbox value. I don't know why that happened. We just want value there. So go back. Let's change this. We'll make sure it saved. Let's change this to Nike. And we will look again at our execution. And there we have the information Nike. So it is saving that value in the database and saying, hey, we edited the script or we edited the sheet. We are going to change this from true, false to true. And let's go look at our edit. And here we see it is all caps true. So we are saving that data. So let's go and actually work with this and say based on that value, based on where it is, we can also get variable row equals event dot range dot get row we can also get the column equals event dot range dot get uh, column in this case and now based on that information if row is equal to actually row is greater than two meaning it's not in the header it's not in the first two column first two rows and column 
is equal to the E column here, which is number five. It's the fifth. We need to use a five here. Fifth column. If that's the case, and one more and, double ampersand, checkbox value is equal to true. Need one more. Is equal to true. Then we want to copy this data over. We got the row, so we know we can go spreadsheet app .get. We also have to make sure it's on projects, actually. That's the last thing we need to do. So a variable sheet equals spreadsheet app .get active sheet .get name, And we also double ampersand one, make sure sheet is equal to projects. Get the active sheet, which is the project sheet, get range, row, column is one and it is one by one row column. We just want the name. So we go variable project name equals. So we got the project name. Now we need to put it into on hold. We're going to say spreadsheet app. Actually, we need get here projects. There we go. That's going to work now. Now we say spreadsheet app dot. Now we want get sheet by name on hold. Oh, move my face. Let's make sure we go on hold. Is that correct spelling? All caps projects. Get sheet by name. Get range. We want the range to be, we need the last row plus one. And we only want one, one, column one, and only one cell by one thing. So let's get the last row. Let's get on hold, paste it here, dot get last row. That's all we need to do, get last row. Now we get the range and we set value. And we are setting the value that we got up here, which is project name. So let's do that. So every time now, if we click here, Ivy, we should paste it here. Ah, I see an error that I made. Variable last row is equal to the last row. There we go. Let's try that again. We're going to not delete it. Oh, let's get Ivy, Nike and Ivy. And we're getting range. Ah, that's probably because we are getting the project name. We have to add get value here. That's very common to forget. We're getting the range and we think, okay, we got that cell, but we actually have to get the value out of that cell. I actually save that. Let's delete these. Now we want Bose and Facebook and let's see if that worked. We're getting Facebook grand. Fantastic. Grand. Let's see, maybe we did it a little too fast. But yet to be named Nike. Perfect. Thumbs up. It's working now. We are able to copy any data once we have this checkbox, a specific checkbox checked. And we've done that with App Script pretty simply, right? Just getting the value, is it true or false? Getting the row, the column of this event, getting the sheet that we're on, making sure we're on the correct sheet, getting the right value in the right place, the right row, the right column, getting the project name, which is just the value from a range, getting the last row where we're supposed to go with it, adding one and then setting that value. There you go. Hope this was helpful to you on how to copy to a new tab when something is checked here.